but they gladly decided to buy battery electric BEMUs like that isn't going to give them five times the problem. Hey, you know all that money you're sending over to get those goofy hydrogen and battery locos bought? Maybe you should realize that that won't work and realize that Sorrento to Miramar is a real thing. It's slow, can be straightened, you just need to put money into it, my god. I could care less about battery and hydrogen, just straighten Miramar already. What did I say? What did I say? Ladies and gentlemen, it is over. It is, it is, it is, we are done for. It's Jover, okay? I... <laughs> wow. Recently, I was sent a document featuring all the improvements and stuff that Caltrans is planning on doing to the Capitol Corridor and San Joaquin services. This document was mostly uneventful, just had a bunch of things we expected or can be inferred, but a few things stuck out, and today I'm going to be going over those. One of which was, of course, the F-59 Hydrail conversion that's going to be happening in the 2030s. <sighs> what? If you're out of the loop, let me fill you in. Caltrans has been kind of hinting at this conclusion for a bit now, especially since their F-59s on the Capitol Quarter in San Joaquin's have stuck around for a lot longer than any of the other ones in the state. In fact, they're the only ones left now. And it's been pretty obvious that they're not going to buy any more chargers and that they want to do something with these F-59s in terms of a rebuild. But I didn't think they'd turn them into hydrogen. I thought they'd just rebuild them normally. Now, for those of you who are confused on my anger on Caltrans' decision here, allow me to explain. Hydrogen locomotives and battery locomotives are a untested technology in the rail industry and based on how they're faring with cars and other systems like that, it's obvious that when the first ones start rolling out, it will not go smoothly and Caltrans and all the other organizations that are planning on buying these sorts of things or rebuilding their locomotives are a lot better off just either electrifying or maybe just trying to work with Siemens to see if you can get those chargers working, but it's just me. This is mainly because of the fact that charging a battery locomotive or refueling a hydrogen locomotive takes a lot of effort and energy, a lot more than just electrifying or dealing with your tier four locomotives. Also, installing the infrastructure for battery and hydrogen takes a lot more effort and will need a lot more maintenance in the long run. This isn't even bringing up the fact that battery and hydrogen locomotives need actual batteries and fuel cells in their bodies, or in hydrogen's case, sometimes even as a straight up tender, and that automatically adds on a lot more weight or adds a whole nother car to the consist and leads to more maintenance due to added weight or added cars. Basically, all of this battery and hydrogen stuff is very short-sighted on all of the rail industry, because in reality, these battery and hydrogen locomotives most likely will not be doing well in comparison to, hey, look who's that, Caltrain over there who actually electrified, and will most likely be doing stellar in about 30 years. On the bright side, at least, on the little PDF thing that I'm getting this from, the F-59 Hydro conversion is listed under, it's not actually fully confirmed yet, and it's in the 2030s. So Caltrain still has a good amount of time to really think about this and really decide on whether or not they think this is a good idea. But that kind of leads us to the next thing I wanted to touch on in this video, which is elsewhere on this document, Caltrans highlights how they want to completely redo and refurbish all of the bi-level equipment, that being the surf liner and California cars, because again, the Ventures, they, they're not getting any more stuff from Siemens, so they're just going to rebuild everything instead, I guess. The few concepts they provided of these new refurbished cars look, uh, interesting, to say the least. I've noticed they're ditching a lot of the colorfulness of the initial schemes, and instead they're going for a more grayish, black, bland scheme, which... I can tell no one will really be a big fan of, especially since the Chargers have the colorful paint schemes with them, so I don't exactly know what the hell they were thinking with that. Like, what what, what, what the hell? You painted the Chargers in the actual schemes. Why are you going against that now? So basically what we're getting a demonstration of here is Caltrans' uh, foresight abilities, which are 
absolutely horrible based off of this scheme. But past that, we still don't know too much about these hydrogen F-59s or these refurbished coach cars. From the looks of things, Caltrans already wants to start refurbishing these coach cars because on the timeline sheet thing, the refurbishment of the coach cars was listed as 2025 starting. So if they want to do this, they're going to start really soon. And as I mentioned, the hydrogen F-59s are planned to start in the 2030s, but apparently they're planning on doing some concept rebuild of one at like soon. I don't know. I really don't understand much about this document. They were very vague with a lot of stuff, probably because they don't even know what the hell they're doing themselves. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say just to kind of throw this out here that yeah, Caltrans wants to put hydrogen stuff in the F-59s and they want to turn the coach cars into gray blocks. So yeah, the future's looking bright, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I have to say, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like this video. I, I really have nothing else to say. I don't know why I keep on talking. But, yeah, that's basically it. I was 5008 Creations. You were the viewer, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye. Bye.